Hey guys. Bought this home light weed eater yesterday. Want to see if it'll run? Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. This is uh this is the home light weed eater that I bought with a bunch of stuff yesterday for resale and if you saw yesterday's video you can uh, you might remember I was talking about how how pliable everything is the primer bulb the fuel lines they're all real pliable okay so I think what we're going to do is I got my mixed fuel. This is what I run in my chainsaws and weed eaters, okay? I run this stuff here. It's five bucks a can. I know it's pretty expensive, but what I like about it is there's no ethanol in this. So you can leave it set in something for months. It's not going to, you don't have to worry about it, okay? So I think what we're going to do is I think I'll put you in the stand we'll pull this uh, the filter the air filter off of it get you in the stand here I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better and we'll sometimes that can tell you a lot what can really tell you a lot is pulling the spark plug but I ain't gonna worry about that you know uh, so okay there's a couple leaves in there I think I do have a filter that will fit in this. Uh, doesn't look like it has a filter, but we're going to try to start this thing. I suppose I'm in your way. Okay, we're going to try to start it just the way it is does need string. I'm going to put string on it. I don't know if I've got any string in there or not. I'll have to check. I thought we did have for the electric weed eater, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look for it. But, hell with it. Let's go ahead. We might have got a hell of a deal on this. Where you at here? Yeah, you can see, right? Let's go ahead and put some of this fuel in here. The fuel lines down in here, they still feel rubbery. I don't know if they've been changed or what. But it is plumb empty of fuel. There's no gas in it at all. So the good thing is, I think someone's drained it. When they got done, you know, for whatever, for however long it was, you know, the winter. Because we still use these in the winter around here you know I mean you, you just you cut all year around here so but it was drained out now whether they just run it clear out every time or not I don't know but uh, some people do and it's a great idea okay that's all run so we got to put it down here um, let's read the instructions shit I just got busted monkey just pulled in or oh, she's pulling in now she's backing in Oh, uh, shit. Just got busted. She's gonna see this out here. No, I was working on something. Crap. Hmm. This could be interesting, guys. Shit. You guys might get to see a domestic violence unfold in front of your eyes. Well, shit. Alright. I'm not supposed to do this today. Sorry. Didn't see what? I didn't see what he wanted. Put her in there. 
what? Nothing. You got me. You filming me? She didn't notice. I might be in the clear. I don't think so. Fuck. Right, she didn't notice. I'll be back with you. Damn it. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I'm going to set you over here and we're going to see if this thing will start. Well, do it right here. First, it's always a good idea to read up just to make sure I know how to start these, but it's always a good idea to check it over. There, it usually, unless it's peeled off, it'll tell you there. They're all pretty much the same. Uh, I got a leaking cap, leaked all over my tripod, which this is. No big deal if it is a cap. I might not have had it on right. Yeah, it looks like it might be why it's leaking. Maybe it just leaked out, which is a good thing. It's 50 to 1 mix, which that's what I've got over there 40 slash 50 to 1. So, okay, I just didn't have the cap on right. So, you prime it seven times. So, you hit this primer bowl right here. I don't know, can you guys see that? I can't see what you're seeing. Six, seven, okay. Now you set it to start. That'd be full choke. You pull till it starts. Then you squeeze to run. Okay. Okay. Squeeze and trigger to run. Once you squeeze the trigger, you'll put it up there. So let's let get you back out here a little bit. Squeeze the trigger. Gotta warm up. No adjustment on this carburetor, so it could be it could have a little dirt in it. That sound good. Sounds like it does need a little bit of little bit of cleaning on the carburetor. A little bit of cleaning. Alright, let me do some cleaning on this carb. And uh no wait, you know what? This does have adjustments on it. Okay right here little adjustments there so let me get let me go get my special screwdrivers and we'll adjust this carburetor okay so let me go grab them I'll be right back this one takes a Pac-Man style. I don't know if I can get this to focus. See that? This is what it looks like right there. So this is a Pac-Man style. Now what a lot of people will do is go ahead and run them all the way in and back out uh, one and a half turns to two turns. This one starts up really good, so I'm just going to try to adjust it from here since it's starting good and running good, okay? So, hopefully you guys can see this.
Alright, we're getting closer. Now it revs up but it won't idle, so. One. Half. Let's go two turns on this one. Now we did it, didn't we? I'm going to play with this a little bit, and I'll be back with you. You guys get the idea. I just got to keep turning them screws back and forth until I get it right. So hang tight, and I'll be back with you. All right, I think I got it tuned in about right. It didn't need string. Um, had some in there. It was just broke off at the end, so I brought it out. It don't have a lot, but it does have some. So let's try to cut something with it and see how it does. Uh, cut some stuff over here, I guess. Hope I don't accidentally cut a flower down. I don't think these are flowers, so we'll cut these down here. And we'll just give it a shot. Set the idle up just a smidgen on it. I think we're done with it. like got a $40 weed eater now I think I'll put 35 or 40 on it I'll come down I'd like to get 30 or 35 but we'll just see how it plays out uh, pretty good deal there <laughs> alright guys thanks for watching I appreciate it just monkeying around Shea Bear shop shenanigans right so that being said I'm going to say Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now Weekend's almost here. One more day. So, you guys stay cool and be safe. Bye-bye.